Hello and welcome to PDF Butler. Today, let's explore how we can generate our first document. First of all, we'll want to verify that the prerequisites are ready. Next, we will prepare our Word document and then we will set up our PDF Butler configuration. Before we start, we need to double check that all the prerequisites are set up correctly. We need to create a permission set and assign it, update the connected app, complete the registration process and subscribe to PDF Butler. Once all these steps are completed, you should be able to see our app here. And if you visit the PDF Butler admin page, you'll find that your registration is done and you'll have a username and password. Now that everything is in order, let's start preparing our first document. From our academy, you can download the template that I'm using for this demonstration. Let's imagine that the business department has provided us with a document they want us to use as a quote. Our task is to analyze the document and identify the fields originating from Salesforce. When we inspect our opportunity page, we find details such as the account name, opportunity name, owner of the opportunity and related products. All of this information must be incorporated into our document. To facilitate this, PDF Butler needs to recognize the areas where Salesforce data should be inserted. We achieve this by setting merge fields. These merge fields should start with two square brackets followed by an exclamation mark. The desired field name, like customer name, and end with an exclamation mark, and two square brackets again. The same approach applies to the remaining fields. Concerning the products, even though there are multiple items, we only need to fill in one row of the table, and the configuration will automatically populate the rest of the products, starting from the initial line. Additionally, we can set merge fields in the footer for the owner's name and email address. Now that our Word template is prepared, we can proceed to the next step, which involves selecting the data and configuring the document. A data source selects the necessary data that you can use within your configuration. The most efficient way to use data is through an SOQL query or SOCL. You might be wondering if administrators have to write their own SOCL queries. Well, you can do that, but we also offer a SOCL builder that can simplify this for you. Let's start by creating our first data source. Name it opportunity, and since we need this data source to provide a single record with its data, we will set its type to single. If we wanted multiple records, we would set the type to list of objects, which we'll explore later. Now we have the SOCL Builder to help us build our SOCL query. We begin with the Opportunity object. Click on Select Object and then select the fields we need. In this case, we need the Opportunity ID to identify the opportunity we will start from. We also select the Amount field, information about the owner of the opportunity, which is a lookup in the Opportunity object. We follow the relation and now we're in the User object. You can search, and we're going to type name because we want to select the owner's name and email address. If you have more fields, feel free to select them. But for now, this is all we need from the user object. We click back and see what other information we need for our demo. We need the customer information, which is linked to the account object. So we follow the relation and from the account object, we select the name, billing information, including country and billing street. And although we typically need the post or zip code and city, for now, we'll just select these fields. This is what we have so far for opportunity. ID, amount, billing information, and owner information. If we need to see the API names, we can click here to view all the API names. We're not finished, so we still need to add a filter. This is crucial because we don't want to retrieve all opportunities but just a specific one. So we filter on opportunity ID and set it equal to the record ID that we're currently working with. 
This ID will be used to filter to the exact opportunity we're working on. Let's add this filter and save the query. Apart from the opportunity information, we also need data on products. To achieve this, we need to create another data source, again using Sockle, and name it Opportunity Products. This time we need multiple records. So we select the list of objects, we proceed with the Sockle Builder, and in the filter we write Opportunity and select the Opportunity Products object. First, we need the Opportunity ID because we need to extract products from a given opportunity, just like we did with the previous data source. We also select quantity, total price, and product name. For the product name, we can choose to access it directly from the opportunity product or throw a lookup to the product object. Let's use the lookup and select the name. Again, we add a filter to ensure that the opportunity ID is equal to the record ID. After adding the filter, we can review the query to ensure it includes all the necessary fields filtered by opportunity ID, and then save the query with these data sources in place. All the required data is now selected. In the document configuration section, we click on new to create a new document configuration that we call docconfig. In this case, we choose main Word document because we have a Word template but you can also select Excel files, CSV files, and PDF files. You can even create reusable Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, and more. We start by choosing a name for our configuration. We specify the title for our document, let's choose quote, and alongside that, a merge field with our format as we can also merge into the file name. Now we're ready to proceed with the document configuration. Click on Open PDF Butler. You can see the option to add data sources. Click on it and add the opportunity data source. PDF Butler already recognizes the types of fields. The amount is a currency field and the rest are text fields. We also need to add the Opportunity Product data source. The next step is to upload the document we created. Once uploaded, PDF Butler will automatically scan the document and identify all the merge fields within it. Let's add the customer name, which comes from the Opportunity data source. We choose the account name, and the merge field is customer name. If we don't fill in the name at the top, it will be automatically populated by the options we choose. Next, let's configure the customer street, which is also sourced from the opportunity data. We select the account billing street and use a text area for this field as this works best for address data and is recommended. We configure the country of the customer using the same logic and there are a few other fields to set up such as the today field which requires a field from our Cadmus constants to put the current time onto the document. Let's choose the full formatting and use the merge field today. Lastly, let's set up the opportunity amount. Here you can use the currency formatting to indicate that it's a currency field. The merge field is opportunity amount, Click OK. In the documents footer, there are two additional fields, the owner's name and the owner's email. Let's configure these fields by adding the configuration and choosing the single type. Fill in the merge fields and we let the name be filled in automatically, just like the others. Now we click Save to Server. If the red square shows a zero, it means your document configuration has no errors and will be saved successfully. Let's configure the product lines. Now, this row should be duplicated for every product listed on the opportunity page. First, we add a config type and we're going to choose the type table row, which means repeating a row in a table. We select the opportunity products data source and the merge field can be any merge field from the table. In this case, we're going to choose the product name. I don't want to remove the merge field because I want to replace them with data. Click OK 
and continue. Now that we know where the table is, we're going to repeat the rows for each product. If we have four products, we're going to see four rows. But we need to tell it now which merge fields to fill with data from our data source. And to do that, we click on New Child and create the configuration necessary for the merge fields. Quantity is a special one. We actually want to use custom formatting on how we want to print out the quantity. We can use hashtags for printing out a number, if it's a number, but in this case, we might have thousands. So the first part here is for the thousands. We add a thousand separator, and with the zero, we say that at least print out a zero if there isn't a number. And if there is a number, print the actual number. There is also a separator for decimals, and if you want to get more information, then the number formatting documentation is here to visit. The merge field is the quantity merge field. For the total price, it's a currency field. We're going to select currency formatting over here, and merge field is of course the product price, and save to server. Now that the configuration is made, we have to add it to the opportunity page. For example, if we've made the configuration of the account page, we have to add the PDF Butler configuration to the account page. But for now, we will add it to the opportunity page since we made our data source filter with opportunity ID. From the component list here, we select the preview component. We have multiple components as you can see, and they are all explained in our academy. We have to indicate which .config we want to use. So let's go back to the .config. You have two options. You can select the ID of the .config, but every environment will have its own ID. So if you are migrating from the dev environment to the test environment or production environment, the ID will be different. So it's better to use this unique identifier because it's the same ID in every environment and it's unique. Let's add it here, click on save and click on yes, I want to activate and assign it as the org default for the desktop and phone, since we want to use it on mobile as well. Click on back to go back to the opportunity page. And we see the new feature added top right, PDF Butler Document Previewer. Click on PDF to generate the document. Our document is perfectly generated. We have all the information configured with the quantity formatted beautifully without additional dots or zeros. Our price is formatted in the American format. And if you're in Europe, you can do the European formatting as well. Every piece of data that we want is there and in the right place. When we return to the document configuration page, you may recall that we added a merge field to the document title, but didn't configure it. We did this intentionally to demonstrate how easy it is to add a new configuration without the need to create a new data source or a new document configuration. Let's navigate to the opportunity data source we created earlier, open the Sockel Builder and select a new field, in this case, the opportunity name, which is what we want to include in our title. Add the field and save the query. Now that the opportunity name field is added, we can use it in our document configuration. Go back to the PDF Butler document configuration, click on edit of the opportunity data source to update it, and then click reload from SFDC. Like magic, the data source is updated to match the changes we made. Click add configuration type. In this case, it's not a single row or a table row, but a title type. Copy the merge field and use it as the name. Select the opportunity data source, choose data source field as name, and paste the copied merge field, and then click OK. Now PDF Butler knows to populate the merge field in the title with the opportunity name. Save it to the server, and everything should work without errors. To view the title, you need to add the download option to our previewer. Go back to the edit page, select our component, and enable the download button. Save the changes and go back. There's also a delivery option set to files, which will save the document as a file. There are other delivery options, and you can learn more about them on our academy to understand the specifics of each. 
Once the download option is now added to the previewer, when you click on it, the document will be downloaded with a quote followed by the opportunity name, just as we wanted it to be. If you check the notes and attachments section, you will also see the document there since chosen delivery option is files. You are now well on your way to learning more with PDF Butler. Lots more features and abilities we haven't touched on upon this video are available on our academy.